In this video, I'll show you how to create WooCommerce private products in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, before we begin, we can create a private product in a few different ways. So we can restrict a product by a particular user. We can password protect a product. We can hide an entire category. So there's various ways to go about this. So in this video, I'll show you a few ways. I'll show you how to just hide it from a certain user group. I'll show you how to password protect it. I'll show you how to password protect your site and a few other bonus tips. So if you wanna create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, then stick around and I'll show you exactly how to do so. So the first step is to head over to WeSuite.com and go ahead and download the WooCommerce restriction rules plugin. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. Okay, so here we are in our WordPress dashboard and assuming you've downloaded and installed the restriction rules plugin by WeSuite, go ahead and navigate to plugins, add new, upload and install the plugin in which you just downloaded. Then you'll see this WeSuite menu here. Go ahead, activate your key and then go ahead and navigate to restriction rules. So now the second step is to go ahead and enable our restriction rules. So in my case, I'm gonna go ahead and enable our password protection on a single product first. Okay, so we scroll down to where it says password protection rules. And then here where it says applies to, we get to choose who do we want this rule to apply to. So we can set it to everyone, guest users, which are users logged out of your site, or to a specific user role, or to a specific user. Okay, and then here we can filter um, the products via category, tag, or particular products. So for example, I've selected products here, and then I just went and searched for the product in which I wanna enable this password protection rules for, okay? Where it says lock parent categories and tags also, we can enable this option, but we'll, we'll get back to this shortly. Okay, so then for the password, we'll go ahead and enter in our password here. If we wanna automatically set this password to expire, then we'll go ahead and set it here. And we can create multiple rules just by clicking add new rule here. And to customize the password field in which a user see, we'll just go ahead and click on password settings here. And then here we can add a little note um, to inform the users on what's going on. So for example, I've just added a simple message which says this product is password protected. And then here we, go, we can customize the submit button. So we've got a prompt which says submit password. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and save changes and then we can see how this looks on the front end. Okay, so here we are on our front end and we can go ahead and refresh this page. And if you remember the password was pass, so let's go ahead and enter in pass and let's see if it gives us access to this product. Okay, so now we can access this product. Fine, so that's working okay. So that's our password protection rules. So as we can see, this product is nested within, is listed within our t-shirt category. So if we click on t-shirts here, well, it's the only product in our t-shirt category. But if we wanted, we can just password protect this entire category. So I'll show you exactly how you do so. It's super simple. So again, we'll scroll down to password protection rules. And now we'll go ahead and enable this option where it says lock um, categories and tags. Okay. And then I'm going to X this off and then let's filter by categories. And then let's go ahead and search for our t-shirt category. Okay. So we've got two t-shirt categories. So I'm going to go ahead and select both just in case, cause I'm not sure which is which. Okay, so let's save changes. Okay, and now let's go ahead and refresh this page. And here, as you can see, this particular category is password protected. And we can go ahead and enter in a password to access this page. Okay, so, so far we've gone over two options. We've password protected a product, a category. And now let's go ahead and just hide the product based on a particular user role. Okay, so let's go ahead and select hide product rules. And this will basically just hide a product. Okay, so again, we get to choose who we want this rule to apply to. I'm gonna set it to everyone just for example purposes. Okay, so let's filter by categories. Okay, and let me double check what products we've got in our categories. Okay, so in our air purifying category, we've got one product, so that's fine. We can choose this air purifying category here. And then we've got the option to redirect a user to a specified page if they happen to land on this page, um, which they don't have access to. 
Okay, so I'm going to leave this blank for now and let's see how that works. And then we will go ahead and redirect our users. So let's save changes. Okay, and now let's refresh this page and it should show a 404 error. Okay, so this is the default function. If you don't set the page to redirect to a different location, it will automatically just show a 404 error because the user doesn't have access to it. But what would make more sense is that you, um, well, it depends on your business setup, but I think it would make more sense if you created like a placeholder page, which explains to users how they might access the page. I think that might be more user friendly unless you absolutely don't want um, anyone randomly landing on that particular link. Okay, so in my example, let's go back down to hide product rules again. And then let's redirect the user to, let's redirect them to this category, right? So let's say they try to access a category in which they don't have access to. We can redirect them back to a home page or um, a sales page, etc., etc. So let's save changes. And now let's try to access this category again, our air purifying category. So as you can see, it's automatically redirected us to our t-shirt category in which we've password protected. <laughs> So just to recap, we have so far password protected a product, a category. We have um, hidden a category. We can also hide um, a menu item as well. So let's say, for example, our main menu here. So we had a list of all our different categories. Let's imagine this was a shop category. And then we had a drop down showcasing all our different categories. What we could do is we could hide a specific menu item to a user that shouldn't have access to it. So let's see how that looks. So we'll navigate to menus actually, if you remember this menu option here. So when you've enabled a restriction rules plugin, it'll automatically add these extra options on your menu. Okay, so we've got the display mode, so we can show this menu item to logged in users, and then we can specify the user role, or we can show it to logged out users, or we can um, display it to everyone. Okay, so let's display this to logged out users. Because I'm logged in, that means I won't be able to actually see this menu. So let's just see how this works. Okay, so here's our menu item. And now when we refresh this page, we can no longer see it. So hopefully you get the concept. Okay, so probably ideally what you'd end up doing is maybe showing that menu item to a specific um, user role, for example. Okay, so we could say only display this menu item to our wholesale customers, right? Since I'm currently logged in as admin, we won't see this menu item. So let's refresh this page. And as you can see, we can't see our menu item. And that's the set a private product within WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.